Sort of official training centre started here in 2010. We were offering fall arrest training on the basic level, uh, rope access level one and two. Um, and, and the reason we started it was because there's definitely a need in the industry. Uh, we were using a lot of technicians and we were sending them elsewhere to get trained and that was costing us money. Um, we had some senior uh, technicians that were now sort of at the end of their rope access career and wanted to get involved in training. So it was sort of an almost an ideal set of circumstances that came together. And then in 2013 we got our current trainer, uh, Sandile. He was a senior level three that came off one of the sites. And he had a lot of experience with regards to the bolting, the rigging, and the sort of the big challenges our technicians are facing, where they're given the right skills with regards to rope access, but the, 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 the actual work that they're doing on site, the rigging, bolting, we need to give them that extra training, just so they had a better idea of what they were doing, which uh, assisted with safety and production, because then the guys were properly trained in the equipment they were using, and it made the, the service offering for by Skyriders 10 times better. And then we added a bolting and rigging facility now, which you'll see a bit later, um, just to give the guys practical experience. So you're not standing on the ground bolting, you're not physically hanging off a rope as you would in a real world rope access scenario, doing, you know, applying your trade. And since then, all of our technicians have gone through it, just about. And we have close on sort of 300 technicians on those two sites doing bolting and rigging. So it's, yeah, it just makes sense to be able to offer those services or offer the training to the guys and make sure that they stay current. Personal opinion, a lot of training institutions are there purely for the money. So they will, it's almost like a, a sort of proverbial sausage machine. It's just the case of as many guys you can get in, regardless of, of, of the quality of the training you're offering the guys, it's just pushing the numbers. And we've seen a lot of it in the work at height industry where it's just a case of uh, a few hours training for basic fall arrest, which is nowhere near adequate enough to make sure that the guys have got the proper skills to be able to work safely at height. A lot of the guys don't have uh, English as a first language, so you've got to make sure that the guys fully understand in their own home language the, the practicalities of a work at height and how to stay safe, because as we all know, work at height, if you make a mistake, it, it can have disastrous, uh, a disastrous ending. Um, how we've sort of Try to fill the gap is that the training that's offered is accredited by the Institute for Work at Height, which is the governing body for all work at height related activities, be it scaffolding, ladders, cherry pickers, rope access, um, and fall the rest. So we try and offer quality, quality training in line with their standards and guidelines and, and make it affordable for the guys to be able to come and do the training.